Oh, hey. Ever wondered why a flame is blue? Or a better question would be, why is it even yellow? Watch this video and let's find out. Under normal conditions of gravity, a yellow flame looks like this. And the reason why it looks like this is because of incandescence of the soot that is produced. So in most cases when soot, which is the black messy substance which floats in the air, is produced, it causes incandescence. Now incandescence is a special case of thermal radiation. Um, thermal radiation may refer to any type of radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum, but incandescence refers specifically to the visible spectrum. So if you see a hot body which is yellow, it's a case of incandescence. And that's the reason why a flame is yellow. It's because the soot particles cause incandescence and that's yellow, it falls in the visible spectrum. And yeah, remember, as we increase the temperature, uh, in incandescence, the emission of yellow shifts the emission of blue light. So as we increase temperature, initially it's yellow, then it becomes red, and then eventually it turns out to be blue. Now another reason why color may be produced in flame is colloids. Uh, due to emission of these colloidal particles, they may produce a colloidal solution in the atmosphere around the flame. And this may lead to something known as the Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect is the scattering of light when, you, when light passes through a colloidal medium. And when it passes through a colloidal medium, light scatters and that too may produce colors including blue and yellow. Something more interesting is that at zero gravity, a flame that looks like this becomes a flame that looks like this. It turns out to be an actual spherical flame. So if you take a, f a, a candle to a place with zero gravity, the flame would look like this. It will look like a baseball and it's pretty interesting because the reason why this happens is in, at zero gravity, conven convection is not possible. A convection is the process in which hot air goes up, cold air comes down. The reason why this happens is because of difference in densities. Hot air has less density and cold air has more density. But at zero gravity, this is not possible because the molecules would not be exper experiencing any force because there's no gravity at all. And that means that hot and cold both are going to stay together and that will cause the flame to look like this. That means no transmission of energy within the medium and the flame will look like this. It's It will be a complete sphere. Uh, uh, it will not be an elliptical sphere. It will be a complete sphere, a 360 degree sphere. And that's what's going to happen if you take a candle to a place with zero gravity. As of now, the hottest flame was produced by diacinoacetylene which burns at about 6000 Kelvin and it's around the same in degree Celsius too because if you subtract 273 from 6000 it doesn't make much difference and the reason why it burns at such high temperature is because it lacks hydrogen and the formula is C4N2 and it lacks hydrogen so it's not a hydrocarbon so when you combust this it does not produce water which reduces the temperature and that's the reason diacinoacetylene has the highest temperature uh, when it is combusted and has the highest flame temperature ever recorded. In 1817, Humphrey Davy found out that uh, fuel and air mixtures can combust at really low temperatures and produce flames. These are known as cool flames. Cool flames can be produced at temperature as low as 120 degrees Celsius and it's found that cool flames oscillate between cool and hot. So this is a phenomenon that occurs in a lot of cases in which there is oscillation between temperature differences. And this can lead to an explosion and this might be a future concept of creating bombs. So let's conclude the video. The reason why it's yellow is because of incandescence. The reason why it's blue is because in, in case of blue, the energy is more, which causes more ionization and that causes blue flame. Thank you. Hope you liked the video and do subscribe and comment down below.
Thanks for watching. You may even leave down a recommendation for the next video on the topic that I should discuss. And that's it. Hope you liked it.